good Thursday evening, everyone, and welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks. We're a week into the month of November, and I thought we'd start out this evening with kind of a review of a review of where we've been so far in November and seasonally as well. Now, th through the first week of November, of course, every day but Saturday has been warmer than the average in terms of our high temperatures. When you factor in highs and lows, we're over 10 degrees warmer than the average through the first seven days of the month. Believe it or not, November of 2022, two years ago, was warmer during the first week of the month. So we've had some very warm starts to November in the last few years. Of course, it's been largely dry thus far this uh, November. And for the season, meteorological fall, September, October, November, we're running a deficit of 2.39 inches at the airport. The uh, uh, yearly total is getting pretty close to zero. Of course, we've been running a surplus for the calendar year for a lot of the year because it was fairly wet late in the winter and early in the spring season. But uh, we're getting pretty close to uh, getting back to uh, neutral with 36.25 inches worth of total precipitation at the airport uh, thus far this year, uh, 0.45 inches above the average. And today being Thursday, we got an update on the U.S. drought monitor and uh, Columbiana County in particular uh, dry. Uh, of course, our entire, entire area has been abnormally dry for several months now, but Columbiana County in particular has been quite dry and we saw an expansion of the severe drought designation. That's this color right here, encompassing most of Columbiana County up to about Salem and places like that. It's not quite as dry uh, up near the Lake Erie shoreline, but it's drier, of course, and it has been for quite some time now, down in southeast Ohio, where an exceptional drought uh, designation is still out from Cambridge on south and east towards the Athens area. In the meantime, we had some clouds for parts of the day today. Uh, the clouds thinned out this afternoon. F slowly but surely, they thinned out in a lot of our viewing area, and we have a clear sky Overhead this evening, let's hop out west. Talked about this some last evening, but we have a doozy of a snowstorm ongoing this evening in the southwestern United States. Spe uh, specifically, I should say, two states, New Mexico and Colorado. Albuquerque up to Denver. It has been snowing for a while now, and additional snowfall totals will be in the double digits, especially in southeast Colorado. Uh, this is a big-time early season event. In fact, in you know, there, there's some spots in, in New Mexico, Santa Fe, uh, one spot. Uh, they're seeing their annual snow totals ju just out of this one storm in early November. So this is a doozy of, of an event out there. Our weather will be quiet, though, and that includes for week two of the high school football playoffs. Games Friday evening will be played under a mostly clear sky. Temperature is not bad for uh, the second weekend of November. We're talking upper 40s and lower 50s Friday evening. And we'll have an abundance of sunshine both Friday and Saturday. Uh, you'll notice a gusty breeze on Friday, but I think as high pressure builds overhead on Saturday, it won't be quite as breezy as we have a fine start to the weekend. Good weather to take care of those leaves or do anything else that involves being outdoors. And that is the pick day of the weekend. And we say that because here comes the warm front and here comes the rain. I think the rain's going to be knocking on the door as the sun comes up Sunday morning and just plan on a soggy Sunday. Is it going to rain every minute of the day? No, but uh, close enough to a washout that uh, I would definitely alter any outdoor plans that you may have slotted in for Sunday. This will be a good day for indoor projects coming up on Sunday. So the weekend forecast looks like this. It's not going to be particularly cold, of course, 56 on Saturday. The 60 on Sunday is probably a late day high. That might be a high that occurs at 7 or 8 p.m. We'll spend a lot of the day in the 50s on Sunday. There's really not much cold air at all behind that system, though, uh, for the first half of next week. And, you know, we, we, we talked about at the beginning of this video precipitation trends. I think as we head into mid-November, while the wettest of the weather will be centered in the Plain States and parts of the Midwest, we're going to see more frequent opportunities for some wet weather in eastern Ohio and western PA. At least it'll be maybe close to average in terms of precipitation during the middle of the uh, month. So, you know... Nothing's growing, of course, at this time of the year, but it is harvest time. And, uh, you know, people do need to take care of raking leaves, blowing leaves, and other outdoor activities, of course, at this time of the year. And uh, so heads up that uh, the weather may interfere with some of those activities with a little more frequency as we head towards mid-month. Tonight's edition of Weather for Weather Geeks, our last regularly scheduled edition of this video until Tuesday because... We don't do Weather Geeks on Fridays uh, during high school football season, of course, but on Monday evening, it'll be my annual winter forecast. So we'll have a long edition of a video like this, but it will be just the winter forecast. Uh, the short version, 21 News, 5, 6, and 11 on Monday. Uh, wherever you're watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight, uh, tune in. Most of you are watching on YouTube. Uh, tune in Monday evening. It'll be online by about 7.30. And, you know, the big question, as always, is will we see this streak 
be broken. We've uh, reeled off several warm winters in a row. We had a pretty close to average winter, 2017, 2018. 2020 into 21 was warmer than the average, but not by a big margin. But really, ever since the winter of 2015, 2016, we've had a hard time getting sustained cold uh, for the winter season in our parts of the country. We had back-to-back -back cold winters a decade ago, 13, 14, 14, 15. We haven't had anything anywhere even close to those winters ever since. The review of last winter, of course, the warmth was the story, and it was right off the get-go warm. Uh, December was the second warmest on record. We only had 4.2 inches worth of snow in the entire month of December in 2023. And, you know, we saw one week of cold weather in January. That was about it. January and February overall were very, very warm. The fifth warmest February on record was good enough to make it the second warmest meteorological winter on record for our area. Only the winter of 1931-32 uh, was a warmer winter than what we had in 2023-2024. And again, will this year be similar or not? Uh, we're going to answer those questions in a lot of detail. Tune in Monday evening. Hope to see you then. Have a great rest of your Thursday night, a great Friday, and a great weekend, everyone.